I've got great news. This is the last time you will have to put up with hearing me say the word tiny excessively over and over throughout an entire video. Because in this last episode of my mini series about handling townies and NPCs, I'm going to show you how to create your own townies in Create a Sim and how to force the game to generate random ones as well. Both are very simple. So I'm going to get to the point right away and start with the former. Step zero is getting this fixed mod by Saijun, so your townies will be able to gain hobby enthusiasm. I will link to everything below, of course, as usual. Then step one is getting the sim manipulator. I talked about this object in my previous video, but this mod is my personal preferred way of modifying stuff about sims. This is an object that can turn sims in a household into townies or down townies. You can actually do this with an in-game debug object, the NPC and townie make too, but I just think that the sim manipulator is easiest to use. You can also turn pets into stray animals with it, but also put them up for adoption so that other sims can adopt them. This is also true for kids, you can fill the adoption pool yourself for your sims. But let me demonstrate all of this visually. So you're going to create a sim in your neighborhood or create new family as seen on the panel and you create absolutely any sim you want as a townie. Right now I'm going to create one sim of each age group and two pets. I set their appearance, aspiration, turn-ons and personality, although they can still be modified later. If you have toddlers, children or teenagers in the household, you'll have to set them as children of an adult in the family. Otherwise, it won't let you create the family. Don't worry, you will be able to delete these family relations later in SimPE if you want to. So now I've created my household of townies to be and I'm going to move them into an empty lot in the neighborhood. But before you do that, I recommend you turn on testing cheats on the neighborhood screen just so you can still modify things about your sims before you turn them into townies. So I'm here at the new household, you can modify pretty much anything about them still, either with debug mode, the sim manipulator, the FFS lock debugger or gussy up, all of the stuff that I was talking about in the previous video, so if you want to know more about this then watch that. I'm gonna buy the sim manipulator now, found under deco and sculptures. And the FFS lock debugger from miscellaneous miscellaneous. And I'm gonna give this sim some skills, thanks to testing cheats. Gonna give him a job as well, thanks to sim manipulator. And I'm also gonna give him a degree with the lot debugger. So once you've customized your townies and you're pleased with them, you can start letting go of them by clicking on the sim manipulator and choosing family turns them into tiny or turns them into down tiny or puts them up for adoption or turns them into stray. I recommend you start this with the kids and the pets in the household because if you send the adults away first they will get taken away by social services either way. With a kid and a pet you have the option not to have them taken away by social services but to turn them into townies or strays. You can do whichever you want. Hello, this is me editing. Uh, technology did not cooperate with me, as usual, at this part. I noticed that my screen recording of the game while I was recording, uh, turning the kids into townies and the pets into strays, it just completely froze out, dropped to zero FPS, so I uh, cut that out and we're just skipping that part. I think you get the idea, you don't need it spoon fed, do you? I will turn this teenager into a downtowny and the adults into normal townies. And now live mode will be disabled, but don't be alarmed. I know it looks a bit scary, but if you save the game and then go to the neighborhood screen, everything will be fine and the lot will be buyable again and your sims will vendor freely in the neighborhood. Another thing that I want to cover in this video is spawning random townies by force, because sometimes you may not feel like creating sims, but you want something quick and fun to work with. So if you have testing cheats on and you have a lot loaded up, you can shift click on a sim and choose spawn more NPC and townie maker. It will spawn this repo gun looking thingy. This is ideal for spawning random townies because you can set the age, the skin tone and the gender of the sim that you want to create. After setting the requirements, you can click generate townie. 
and it will show a candidate for you. If you like what you see and you want the sim in your neighborhood, then click the gone again and choose keep. Then the sim will get added to your neighborhood. If you don't like what you see, then you can discard them by choosing kill. With this method, you can generate as many townies as you want. But don't forget to always save the game before you quit the lot. Then you can of course further customize the sims that you've spawned in the usual ways if you stumble upon them or if you call them over or if you teleport them over with something like the sim blender. With the NPC and Tony Maker gone, you can also do things like generate NPCs, although that is not very necessary because the game generates those automatically for you whenever there is a position that needs to be filled. But you can also turn already existing townies into garden club members, vacation sims, social group sims, iconic hobbyists, etc. So that would be all for this video. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. And yes, I totally did not record the ending of this when I was originally recording the video. That's just the state of me at the moment. Anyways, I hope you found some of it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Sims 2 content from me in the future, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and see you very soon.